Hello equestrians and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. Today we're gonna meet the Cleveland Bay. This is a breed I've been wanting to film for a while, so I'm really excited to meet them and learn more about their history. I'm heading to a beautiful farm in Scotland. It's about four hours from where the Cleveland Bay breed originated in Northeast England. The Cleveland Bay Horse Society connected me with breeders John and Ava. They've had Cleveland Bays since 2007, but they haven't always been horse owners. My uncle started it. He ran a stud called Leavenmouth, um, and he bought a stallion called Forest Royal Laird. Through the late 60s, 70s and 80s, he bred some phenomenal horses. I didn't have much to do with them, but when we went around for visits, I was always fascinated by the horses and uh, loved spending time with them. I had an, an inkling and an ambition to own a horse eventually, but did nothing and didn't learn to ride or anything like that. Too busy playing sports and working and just general life, basically. And then we got the chance to get this place when I was 50. I told myself it's too wet for horses. And so we had cattle and some sheep and everything. And then bought one horse and then went and bought another horse and then bred. And then now we've got 10. We've bred 17. Um, so we haven't kept everything. <laughs> but that's the way it started. And I only really started riding when we got them and uh, sitting on the horse is more an apt description than riding, so. But their personalities are such that they put up with that. Mm -hmm. They sort of treat me like a sort of, a, you know, a valuable uh, rear passenger that's not to be dumped on the ground or anything <laughs> like that. So, but it just speaks to their ability to sort of adapt and look after people. The Cleveland Bay is one of the oldest horse breeds in England, but the breed is critically endangered and there are less than 40 foals born each year. John showed me an amazing tool that the Cleveland Bay Horse Society is using to help save the breed. It's a computer database with a genetic analysis program. During my quest, I've ridden a lot of endangered breeds and I am so excited to see tools like this being used to help increase genetic diversity and create sustainable future populations for the breeds. Speaking of breeds, it is time for my quest ride. <laughs> this is Jack. Oh, hello. If a thoroughbred is a Ferrari, and uh, Clydesdale is a, a lorry, Cleveland Bay would be a sports utility vehicle, a pickup truck, because it's adaptable for just about any situation. We're taking one of the youngsters along and Allison is joining us on Lizzie. I love how big he is, but just how relaxed he is. <laughs> They're unlikely to make you an Olympic champion, but they're going to be, give you a sensible, safe horse that will do a bit of everything. It'll jump, it'll do dressage, it'll uh, footer about on rides and hacks out and stuff like that, quite happily, um, do pony club shows, etc. It'll do everything to a reasonable standard and you can enjoy them because they are a very enjoyable horse. They're, not uh, tricky to work with at all. They're plain straightforward. They give you everything if you're on their side. Very easy horse to work with and fun, which is the main, the main thing. If you're spending half your life looking at them, you've got to be getting something back out of it. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> but, uh, there's some days in the middle of winter when you're up to your waist in mud and a horse runs past you and the wake splatters mud all and you think, why am I doing this? So, like, but other days, like today, going out with somebody you've never met before and having a great time, sort of like, in the sunshine, in the Scottish sunshine, it's, 
it's well worth it. So I think so. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos here on the channel and I'll see you all at the next breed.